Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer, Church House of Prayer, Worship Wednesdays. Hey, come on down to South Florida. Check it out, especially if you're in the region. Come on by. Say hello. God is good. I'm the founder of the Ignite Apostolic Prophetic Network. Ignite, where are you, Igniters? Go to ignitenow.org and get signed up to contend for pure prophetic flow with prophetic family. God is good. Today's devotion from our devotional mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God, is called, I want your whole heart. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Your worshiping me does not change my heart for you. My heart has always been and always will be perfect towards you. I will never love you any more or any less than I do now. However, when you worship me, it changes your heart toward me. Every time you worship in spirit and in truth, it makes your heart a little more tender toward me and brings you closer to my heart. It changes your soul and strengthens your body to chase after me at each new level. I want your whole heart, says God. Amen. He does. He really, really does all of it. Just give it all to him. He'll take it. Ezekiel 36, 26, Psalm 51, verse 10, John 4, verses 23 and 24, and Matthew 5, verse 8 are the scripture references for today. And the prayer starter, change my heart, Holy Spirit. Test my heart and my mind. Prove me and remove anything that hinders love. Purify my heart. Give me a believing heart that stands on your word, God. With my whole heart, I cry, answer me, and I will keep your statutes in Jesus' name. Father, we praise you this morning. You are a good, good father. You have given us your whole heart. You have held nothing of yourself back from us. We thank you that you are available. You are willing. You are ready. You are able to bless us, to love us, to bring us into the next. Oh God, we thank you for your faithfulness toward us. Even when we're not faithful, you are a faithful God. You are always right there when we need you. You're right where we left you. We know where to find you. You are everywhere all the time and we exalt you, God. We exalt you. We exalt your holy name because you are worthy of our praises. You are ready, willing, able. You are all powerful, all knowing. Oh God, we give you glory this morning. There's no one like you, no one who compares to you. We put our faith in you and you alone. We put our trust in you and you alone. We sing your praises and your praises alone. We will have no other gods before you. We love you, God. We express wholeheartedly our devotion to you and to your ways, to your precepts, to your principles, to your promises. We will tap in to your kingdom, your way. We will walk with you. We will talk with you. We say yes to your heart. We say yes to your ways. We say yes to your will. We say yes. We give you our yes. We're not going to be double-minded anymore. We're not going to waver between two opinions. We're not going to let our yes be no and our no be yes. We will stand on the rock, Jesus Christ. We will stand on him, walk in him, sit with him, sup with him. We will move and live and have our being in you, God. That's where we want to be. That's how we want to do this thing called life. We want to do it with you, in you, for you. Because of you, it's all for you. You are the center of our world, God. You are the center of our world, God. You are the center of our world. Everything revolves around you and your word, your will, your ways. Everything revolves around you, God. Help us to revolve our whole world around you. Not ourselves, not other people, not exploits, but you. Help us, Lord, to be like Mary and be that person of one thing. Like David, the one who cried out to you for deliverance, for salvation, for victory in every battle. Help us, Lord, to be mindful, to be mindful, to be mindful of your presence, to be mindful that you are a victorious God, to be mindful that no devil in hell can successfully advance against you. The gates of hell 
shall not prevail against the church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against our lives. The gates of hell shall not prevail. You are greater. You are stronger. You are mightier than any demon power that would work against us, that would dare to try to defy your will in our life. You are greater. You are the greater one, the stronger one, the mightier one. We praise you, God. For you, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are awesome. You created us in your image and we will serve you with our whole heart. We will surrender to another level. We thank you. We praise you for you, you alone, you alone are worthy of our praises. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 help us this morning, God. Help us to pray this morning, God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Some of you woke up this morning feeling as if you'd been run over by a truck. Some of you woke up this morning feeling in your spirit like there was something wrong. Some of you woke up this morning with various voices tempting you. Some of you woke up this morning out of sorts, but this morning, we're going to deal with the demonic conspiracies. We're going to derail demonic conspiracies that have been launched against your life. We're going to dismantle them. We're going to destroy them. We're going to sideline and sidetrack them for the glory of God. Demons don't work alone. They work in networks. They pass along information. They are spiritual spies. They watch and pray, P-R-E-Y. We have to watch and pray, P-R-A-Y, because demons watch and pray, P-R-E-Y. The enemy roaming around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour, seeking someone to pray upon, P-R-E-Y. We must pray because he prays. We must pray because he prays. We must pray because he prays. So let's deal with, dismantle, disassemble and disassociate ourselves from demonic conspiracies this morning. Father, I thank you that you see everything, that nothing gets by you, that no move of the wicked one takes you by surprise. I thank you, Lord, that you sit up in the heavens and laugh at your enemy because you see his end. You see the workings of the kingdom of darkness, the inner workings, the secret workings, the, uh, uh, the, the plots and the plans of the evil ones. God, you see everything and it doesn't shake you. It doesn't move you. It doesn't surprise you. It doesn't unsettle you oh God we thank you that we are firmly settled in you and when the enemy comes to unsettle us to unseat us he will not succeed he will fail he will fall he will falter for he is unable to take us from your hand he is unable to unseat us from our position in Christ oh God we thank you today that you see the conspiracies you see the plots you see the schemes and they do not trouble you they do not dismay you so we will not be dismayed nor will we be discouraged by the conspiracies of the wicked one the networks of demons who want to assemble against us in a room somewhere in hell to plot and plan against our lives. We will not be afraid. We will not be concerned. We will not be tim intimidated, but we will rise up from where we sit in Christ and we will run to the battle line and we will take out our sword and we will cut it off. Every conspiracy, we cut it off off we dismantle it we deal with it in the name of Jesus oh these plots of principalities and powers these plots we plunder them in Jesus name 
We say no longer will we be subject and victimized by the conspiracies of the wicked ones. But we cry out to our deliverer and we say, oh, Lord, lift us up out of this miry clay. Oh, Lord, lift us up out of this pit where they're cursing, where they're judging, where they're throwing stones at us. We say no longer will we stand in a place of uncertainty, but we will rest in the full assurance that our God is able to deliver us from even the strongest strong man. So we bind the strong man behind the conspiracy in the name of Jesus. Oh, the mastermind of the conspiracy that has been launched against us. Oh, we thank you, Lord, that he is bound in Jesus name. We tie him up, tie him up, tie him up. Oh, the devil has tried to tie us up. He has tried to tie us down. He has tried to come in with all manners of fetters and chains and bondage just to keep us arrested in the spirit but we turn the tables right now and we flip the script right now and we arrest demon powers in the name of Jesus we arrest you and we bind you in Jesus name oh you conspiracy theorist demonic conspiracy theorist theorizing in your head what you're going to do next having watched our every move watch your demons having watched and watched so they can pray and pray and they're calculated maneuvers against us will not stand. Oh, we scramble demonic databases that have stored information about our lives. There, 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 here, there, and everywhere. We break the powers and we blind the eyes of demonic watchers in the name of Jesus. Oh, you conspiracy theorists. We scramble your communication systems in the name of the Lord. Take their database offline God render it null and void inject a virus into their systems to oh wipe that database clean in Jesus name every demonic database with information about our past our present and predictions of our future come together from familiar spirits and monitoring spirits we wipe your database clean now in the name of Jesus we plead the blood of Jesus again Against you, satanic schemes, sedition. We break the powers. We scramble, scramble, scramble. We scramble these schemes in the name of Jesus. Treasonous, countermining. Countermining, undermining. I just saw a dark angel, a very large dark angel, a demon watcher rise up. And in this hour, we are seeing devils make bold moves. They're getting braver. It's no longer time to fight like we fought in the past. We've got to step it up. We've got to step it up. We've got to step it up. Father, would you give us the wherewithal? to fight, to not lay down and die, to not lay our weapons down and whine and moan and groan. Would you give us the wherewithal to fight against every demonic conspiracy that is assembled against our lives? God, would you help us, God, to, 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 to gain the confidence that we need in the face of perilous circumstances and demonic pictures and all of the floaters? And Jesus, would you help us to see rightly? Help us to see rightly so we can pray rightly, so we can stand rightly, so we can fight rightly. God, help us to see rightly because the enemy comes and releases witchcraft in our eyes. It's part of the conspiracy. So that we cannot see. So that all we see is the trouble and the woe. All we see is the problem and the situation. Oh, all we see is the pain and the uh, the backstabbers and, and all those ones that are under the influence of the wicked one. They're part of the conspiracy. Oh, we're wrestling not against flesh and blood. Not only against flesh and blood. For we know that the enemy uses people. We know that hey, demons need a body to be the most effective. We understand and we realize that Satan entered Judas, that demons enter people 
and work against us hand to hand combat God would you help us to stop being so ignorant of the devil's devices that we want to be so religious in our mind that we will not deal with the root cause of an issue that we will not lay that axe to that root that we will not because we don't want to hurt somebody's feelings would you help us Lord to war diplomatically but not to be so diplomatic that we will not war that we will not back up from those who the enemy is using to kill to steal kill and destroy in our life God would you help us today to stop being so polite to demons help us Lord to love the people but to hate the devil to love the people but to hate the devil help us Lord to stop being so polite to principalities that want to destroy our lives it's a conspiracy demonic hookups chains of demons groups of demons hordes of demons gangs of demons assembled trading information plotting scheming planning help us Lord not to be so ignorant of the devil's devices help us Lord to worship you and you alone to keep you at the center of our focus but not to deny the reality of what's going on in the spirit realm just because we can't wrap our head around it just because we cannot see it with our eyes just because we don't fully understand what's going on help us Lord not to fall prey p-r-e-y to the wiles of the wicked one but help us rather to study to show ourselves approved perish for lack of knowledge we perish for lack of knowledge we sustain hits from demon powers because of lack of knowledge we lose things that are dear to us for lack of knowledge the enemy gets in to our homes for lack of knowledge don't be ignorant of the devil's devices Paul said don't be ignorant of the devil's devices in this season I see demonic conspiracies rising up against many in the body of Christ demons that are in league with each other and you're plotting the plots of the Lord the plans of the Lord and they're counter plotting against you treachery trickery covens of witches not just one some of you are dealing with entire covens of witches coming against your life familiar spirits false prophets demonized terrorizing we take authority over all these machinations of the wicked one now in the name of Jesus oh God the fight is fixed and we thank you that you fixed it for us for you have given us authority over every demon power and we will no longer be timid but we will be the intimidators in the name of Jesus every knee must bow the demons are intimidated by the name above all names oh the demon powers that have conspired against us they are intimidated by the name above all names by the Holy One of Israel so we thank you Lord we dismantle even now demonic conspiracies against our lives we close the mouth of the lion and bind the hand of the thief in Jesus name we say no weapon that is formed against us no conspiracy that is formed against us shall prosper but every tongue that has risen up against us to curse us shall be condemned every tongue that has risen up against us to curse us shall be split every tongue that has risen up against us to curse us shall be burned with double fire every tongue that has risen up against us to curse us shall be condemned we bless you God we bless you and we bless each other we bless each other we will use our mouth to bless we will not sow seeds of cursing but we will bless 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 and honor your name God we give you praise we thank you God there's no other God like you no other God who assures us victory even against demonic conspiracies deep 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 underground demonic conspiracies in which actual flesh and blood beings many times are participating God would you help us to love the people and hate the devil would you help us Lord to remember that we've got this because you've got it and we're in you if you've got it we've got it 
have to believe, we have to believe, we have to believe that we can not just survive the attack of the enemy, but thrive in the midst of it. Continue thriving. We're not victims barely getting by trying to survive. We are overcomers, victorious in every way because we are in you. That is our legal position and we will not be moved from it. So we derail and dismantle. We disassemble demonic conspiracies against our life once and for all. We discern them. We derail them. We dismantle them. We disassemble them right now in Jesus name. We demolish them. We destroy them. We bankrupt the enemy's arsonary against us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Many times the best thing you can do when you feel like you don't want to fight is fight harder. Amen. Sometimes the best thing you can do when you don't feel like you can fight is fight harder. Well, how do I do that? You, by the force of your will and by the grace of the God who lives inside of you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. God is good. I've got to catch an airplane this morning. I'm going to Louisiana, but I wanted to get on the broadcast with you and deal with that. So you need to listen to this again. I've got a new book coming out in just a couple of weeks. It's called The Seer Dimensions. Would you go on Amazon and pre-order that, please? Get on Amazon and pre-order that. It's called The Seer Dimensions. School deliverance this weekend was phenomenal. If you did not get in on that, you can still get in on it. Go to schoolthespirit.tv. It was, it was a great start. We had some strong foundation. And I was able to see where many of the students were by the questions they asked. And I can see that this is not taught enough. It's not taught enough. You can get involved in that. You can go sign up at schoolofthespirit.tv, the School of Deliverance. The first two classes are there on demand. And each month we'll release two more classes. It was good. It was good. I know, I know how good it was in the sense of I know the damage it did to the kingdom of darkness because I got all kind of backlash and warfare from teaching it. That's always a good sign. That means that the devil didn't like it, and God did. Do you guys pray for me? Go to prayforjennifer.com, would you, and, and, and uh, join my prayer team. Cover me in prayer. I'm dealing with some subjects that most, most, quite frankly, most in the body of Christ do not deal with. There are some that do. Some of them are my friends. But most don't deal with it because they don't want the backlash. Amen. Listen, if you want to sow into this broadcast today, I wish you would, especially if it touched you. The best time to sow is when your faith is rised, is, has arisen. The best time to sow is when you feel like you've received a breakthrough or a key or a nugget or something that's going to help you. Of course, the best time to sow is when God says, but generally speaking, you can go to jenniferleclair.org slash give, jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can become a partner there. You can sow a one-time seed there. We're looking for a thousand people to sow $25 a month or more. Become partners with us. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. All the different ways to sow are there. You can use the cash app, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. The cash app is dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the text to give. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. Cash app, dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303 is the P.O. Box. You can send anything there you want to send. Amen. So, Father, I thank you for this opportunity to sow into your kingdom. We give you praise and honor and glory for what you're doing in our lives, for what you're exposing in the realm of darkness and what you're exposing in the revelation of light. We ask you, Lord, to multiply this offering back to the givers in Jesus' name. I lift up all my Awakening House of Prayer family around the world. You know, we have over 6,000 people on our online campus. You can join that online campus. It's free, ahop.online. So, Father, I lift up my Awakening House of Prayer family, my Ignite Network family, all the Awakening Prayer Hub leaders around the world, all of my partners, all of my givers, all of my staff, all of my vendors. And I say, Lord, bless us indeed. Enlarge our territory. Let your hand of power rest upon us and keep us from evil and causing pain. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. There's a lot going on. You can go look on jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. If you are in South Florida, we do have worship Wednesdays now. We have several hours of live worship in the prayer room. 
every day. See, the devil really tried to meddle in our worship team for a while now, and now we're launching a worship movement. So take that, devil. <laughs> God loves worship. If you are in South Florida on Wednesdays, we do have live worship. Email the office for a schedule. And, of course, we have live worship Monday night, live worship and prayer Monday night, live worship and prayer Friday nights. We have church on Sunday. So get involved. Healing rooms. We have healing rooms. All right, guys, I got to go. Get involved in what blesses you. Amen. (laughs) Bless you. I'll see you later.